Well, good day, good morning, and welcome to the channel. I just want to take a minute to recognise how beautiful it is and how fortunate I am to be here right at this minute. It is absolutely stunning. The sun hasn't come up yet. The birds are singing. There's not a breath of wind. We've got this beautiful orange glow on the water. I've got full of anticipation for what might happen this morning. Kind of encapsulates what birding and photography is all about. It's just been out in nature and just taking it all in. It's just absolutely beautiful, honestly. I'm happy that I can bring you with me to share it with you. All right, so why am I here this morning? Well, if you saw my last video, you'll know I picked up the Olympus OM-1, which is a micro four thirds body and the Olympus 100 to 400 lens. And I'm just planning on having a bit of fun today and just shooting with it and seeing what sort of shots I can get. So I'm not seeing any birds right here in front of me that I'm gonna be able to get any photos of. So I'm probably gonna relocate. Um, and that's often the way <laughs> at new locations, you don't know exactly where the best spot is to get photos. So uh, we'll do that now. We'll quickly move and see if we can't find a better location. So I've quickly just walked not far, probably 50 meters. And this is a much better spot for photography. And my reason for being here, and this is key for bird photography, it's location, location, location. Often finding the right location for the bird you're after is what makes the photos. And down on the ground here are some red knee dotrels. Now, I haven't really photographed these all that much. They're not common here by any means, but I did see them at the other spot I was at yesterday and the other day, and they're amongst sort of reeds, and it was really difficult to get a shot. I could spend days there and potentially not get a good shot. However, here, they're in the open. It's nowhere near as cluttered, and I'm confident that if I just go down and lay down there on the water's edge, and just let them come to me, I'm gonna probably get my best, or hopefully get my best ever shots of the species. Came here based off a suggestion from a subscriber, so um, thank you very much for that. Part of the key for you, just visit lots of spots, figure out which spots allow you to take the best photos. So how I'm gonna photograph them is obviously using my trusty ground pod and a gimbal. If you're new to the channel, um, this just allows you to have a much lower shooting angle. Interestingly, I caught up with my mate Mark yesterday and he actually made his own ground pod and here's some footage of it. It's basically just a breadboard, a bit of wood, very, very cheap. He's put a bolt through the bottom of it and attached a gimbal to it. For 10 bucks or less, he's created his own ground pod. So if you're handy, you can definitely make your own. Oh, they're right here, it's super exciting. All right, let's get set up. So one good thing about this lens, it comes with a built-in Arca Swiss, which is quite handy. It's probably not long enough, to be fair, because it can be a little bit difficult to balance at times. But we just put that on the gimbal, and now I can obviously shoot at that low angle, which is what we want. All right, so what's really important is obviously to have the right gear. So I'm going to be crawling in the mud, getting down low to get the nice angle. So I'm always prepared with my boots, my wet weather pants, and my wet weather jacket, so I don't have to worry about damaging my clothes and getting down but they're just over here. So the key is to stay low and just approach. And then I'll just lay and wait and hopefully they'll come to me. Oh, look at this. I don't know if these shots are gonna work, but it's always nice to try something different. Oh, geez. To your right, mate. Keep, keep walking. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. This is honestly just incredible. <laughs> What's that saying? Happy as a pig in mud. We're starting to get some strong backlighting now, which is interesting. Oh. Wow. Looking tight. I want this um, dot trawl to go into the sun, is what I'd like. So we've got the sun coming up, and I'd like a 
a backlit bird if I could. I've just gone for something a little bit wider. Oh. The sun coming up. Oh. <gasps> this is what it's all about laying in the mud. Can't even talk. Oh, I've got two birds. Got two birds in the frame. Oh. I'm honestly speechless. The beautiful. I can't believe it, honestly cannot believe it. So we've got a Swamp Harrier, I think, flying around the back and you can see how the tracking picks it up. I mean, it's miles away and it's still tracking it. It's just incredible. <laughs> I'm covered in mud. But that was possibly one of the best experiences I've ever had when it comes to photography. That was incredible. The amount of shots that I just got were just unbelievable. We had the light, we had backlit, we've got side light, we've got dark. We've now got the sun coming up and the birds over here, I should be taking advantage of that. Honestly, where else would you rather be? Just stunning. <sighs> Birds out here. Okay, so I've repositioned because I think the uh, doctoral is gonna. Oh, I can feel the wet mud. We've got the most gorgeous light. We've got a swan. Oh. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Unbelievable. Oh. This is incredible.
25 frames per second definitely helps. The autofocus is working well. One really good thing with Olympus is they have a built-in highlight exposure warning. So when it gets too bright, can you see how it goes orange? That's telling us that those parts of the image are just too bright, so you need to turn it down. That's really, really quite handy for your exposure. You're not going to blow your exposure. And it also goes blue if it's too, um, too dark as well. See how it's going blue? That means we're clipping the shadows. So we've got a backlit bird at the moment. It's got this beautiful ring light around it. It's just feeding with the sun coming up behind them. I just had a parrot land on the ground. So the autofocus is struggling with these parrots. I'm trying to use spot autofocus, but it's just struggling. We've got these uh, red rump parrots. The male's on the left feeding, which is quite nice. You want to know what success looks like? <laughs> it's how much of a mess you made in the mud and what you look like afterwards. Um, my wife's not going to be impressed with the amount of mud I have on me, but I don't care. Totally worth it. So let's go for a walk and see what else we can photograph. And what makes this even more ironic is I actually debated about coming out this morning. I woke up early, the bed was warm. I thought I was just here yesterday. <laughs> Should I just stay home? And I thought, no. I'll have a go. And here we are. Awesome, let's go. Well, I've walked <laughs> probably 50, 100 meters up the swamp here and didn't strike anything unfortunately, so I'm gonna make my way back and see what turns up. The white necked heron just standing on a log out here. I'm trying to see which angle makes the best photo. Oh, that's quite nice, this heron. Oh, that was quite nice. Um, there's a white-faced heron that is just fishing out here on a log and I think I got myself into a position to get a shot. You just have to be conscious of the elements in your shot when you're taking them. Because the first shot I took, I had a couple of stumps that were sort of on the left and they're a little bit distracting to me. So by getting a bit closer and repositioning, I isolated that hair in a bit more. And I think that's how the shot works. And it comes with time, it comes with experience, but just be conscious of the elements in your shot. And by going, moving up, down, left or right, you can often change the composition and remove those distracting elements. Mm -hmm. 
It's so still, so peaceful. Beauty of the zoom, you know, you can get a shot of this tree with all these cormorants in it. Just stunning. Tracking is so good. <laughs> Tracking is so impressive on this body. That brings my incredible session to an end. I had so much fun today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which photos you enjoyed. I really loved using the OM1 and 400 and have any issues. Uh, I'll be curious to see what the photos look like. That extra field of view of 800 is, was definitely nice. It's nice and light. This body is fantastic for tracking. 25 frames per second is lovely. I'll definitely do a review in the future, but today will just go down as one of my favorite mornings of bird photography. Um, obviously give it a thumbs up. Thanks to all the new members who have joined the channel. If you're not aware, for the price of less than a cup of coffee per month, you can support me to get out in the field and enjoy what I, I like doing. You also get the 2023 digital calendar for free for your desktop, laptop or tablet. Um, <laughs> I think I could see some egrets over here. Oh, look, I'm just in my element, so um, just awesome. Had so much fun. Uh, until the next one, take care, happy birding, see you later.